All right, fellas, today we are unboxing the Retro Runners from Koyo. Let's go over what's inside the box and what you get if you decide to pick up a pair for yourself. Shout out to Koyo, by the way, for sponsoring this video and allowing me to unbox this new model for you guys. This isn't a full review, obviously, because I'm just now opening this thing. So um, if you do wanna see a longer term review, maybe in three months, six months, one year, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to film one for you guys. Like all Koyos, you are going to receive your shoes in this like seafoam green box with a cream uh, dust bag. I love these things because I always store all my shoes, uh, especially my nicer shoes, in bags just like this. That helps to prevent any dust or like accidentally scratching them, things like that. All right, and these are the Retro Runners. Again, this is the cloud colorway. It's technically a white color, uh, but it's definitely a softer white, just like a cloud. Uh, it's, it's not blindingly white like typically what you'd see with leather sneakers. I love the runner style sneakers specifically. They're a little bit different. Uh, than your typical court style sneakers. And obviously every brand has a court style sneaker from the Common Projects Achilles to even Koyo, they have the Capri uh, in a triple white, which you can get. It's a very ubiquitous style of shoe. General style goes really well with a lot of stuff, but I like that the runners have like a nicer, sportier, more fun style. And it's just a little bit of a twist uh, that still goes easily with a lot of outfits that you might be wearing. So it is really easy to wear a runner style shoe, especially if you have one with like a really subdued color palette and elevated materials. Speaking of elevated materials, the retro runner is made from a mix of a supple Italian leather and a really soft suede. Like I did mention, this is the cloud colorway, but the Retro Runner comes in four different colorways. This is colorway one. Another one is a all brown veg tan leather. And then there are two versions, which are like a mixed material of like a mesh with suede. One of them is called Night, which has a uh, black, mostly mesh, and then suede trim with a leather heel counter. And finally, there is a gray and navy version uh, made with a gray mesh with navy suede trim. And then there's like this gold leather heel counter on the back. There were a lot of thoughtful sustainability choices made in the production of these shoes specifically. The midsoles and outsoles are made from recycled materials and the leather and suede meets a certain uh, gold standard that uh, set forth by the leather working industry. In the description box below, I'm gonna link to these shoes. Go ahead and check that out and they explain all about it uh, on their product page. The laces themselves are pure cotton, unwaxed. I'm, I go back and forth if I like waxed laces or not. Uh, I think they're okay for some shoes, like the court style shoes, uh, they work okay. But like for a you know sporty runner style shoe, I want like a standard lace and that's what these come with. Finally, the collar of the shoe and the tongue are also really nicely padded. So I'm gonna guess long, long term as you're wearing these throughout the day, it's gonna stay really comfortable. Okay, so that's pretty much everything about these runner style sneaks from Koyo. I really like them personally out the box. I thought they looked really cool. I do love a good retro runner. These fit the bill perfectly. Again, I do like the elevated materials and the subdued color palette. I feel like if it's something like this, versus like a really like bright or vibrant runner that has like the more sporty materials and build. Uh, these go well with the casual or smart casual outfits that we talk a lot about here on Effortless Gen. One thing I noticed too, is that these feel a little bit lighter than the standard court style shoe, like the uh, Koyo Triple White or like one of those kind of projects, like those types of shoes. I feel like these are a little bit lighter because the outsole midsole is actually um, not like a, a heavy rubber margam sole, which is typically what they use on those shoes. So there's a little bit of a weight difference there. I haven't weighed them, but I do just kind of feeling them. They do feel a little bit lighter. Also, I'm gonna guess that if you're wearing these throughout the day, they're gonna be more comfortable than a standard court style shoe because of how they're shaped, right? They're meant for runners. So the shape of the sole is more conducive to that heel to toe movement which just makes walking way more comfortable. Also, there's a lot of padding in here. So I think uh, overall, you're gonna find that these are really comfortable shoes. Stylistically, how would you wear them? You can honestly wear them uh, just like you would wear a standard court style shoe, right? You could wear them anything with shorts and a t-shirt if it's hot in summertime. Uh, you could wear them with jeans and a button up. Any standard like smart casual outfit that you would typically wear, uh, you can wear with these shoes, especially with this color. All right, so what do you think? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Again, these are the Koyo Retro Runners. They do come in different colorways. Uh, check out the website. You might like the other colorways that are available. I personally think these are the coolest. They go with the most uh, you know variety of outfits that you could think of. Also, the veg tan leather in a dark brown is also really cool. I would definitely check 
check those out as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Koya Retro Runners. And if you want a unsponsored review uh, down the road, three months, six months, 12 months down the road, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do a follow-up video for these guys. All right, fellas, that's it. Thank you for checking out this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.